This was my first home, and it will be my last. This is my Nebraska, especially so in the autumn of the year. No skyscrapers, a few towns. Just the land and the folks that live here. This is the part where my soul stays, no matter how far afield I roam. I hear often that Nebraska is the middle of nowhere, but to me, it's the center of everything. It's the land of cowboys and poets, buffalo and meadowlarks. It's a sprawling landscape, miles of prairie and cornfields, a place that helps feed the world. A rugged landscape blankets a fragile ecosystem. It's a place untamed, ruled by Mother Nature. The folks here ride the land like a bucking bronco. Nebraskans work. They help. It's about the effort. It's how they connect with each other and with themselves. And they endure. Still dancing after a hundred years on earth, their faces lined with the grace that more than a century of the good life brings. Nebraska is home to huge temperature swings, vast differences in topography, and unrelenting wind. That wind never sleeps, it constantly stirs and shakes, as if searching for something lost, never stopping to rest. Like its inhabitants, Nebraska is tough. But the land makes up for it with beautiful scenes, more miles of river than any other state, vistas that stretch forever. Here you find the extraordinary buried in the ordinary. Natural art and nature's dance dominate daily life. The abiding wonder of the place is that everyone connects with the land and with the soil. It's where they find their substance and their center. The state's like a well-worn boot. It's not fancy. It's comfortable and dependable. Autumn is the best time here. It's when the full power of the land presents itself. The scorching summer sun slowly gives way to the winter freeze. The people come together for community enjoying the rituals of game and song, and appreciating what they have accomplished in the past months. Like everywhere, it's about the water. Here the cherished rain falls cleanly in pools on the surface. The precious liquid soaks through the ancient natural filters of sand and soil, working down and down, purifying itself until it reaches the massive underground reservoir the mighty Ogallala Aquifer, which is the giver and sustainer of all good things. Without it, Nebraska would be a desert and the world would lose one of its greatest bounties. Humans are constantly trying to secure a foothold on the treacherous slope of the future. Nowhere is the short tenure of our existence more obvious than in the American West. The scale here is so large, the seemingly endless expanse joins the cosmos on a far away horizon. The vast Milky Way constantly dominates the night, but this place is full of surprises, like the elusive Aurora Borealis shining brightly on an October eve, right smack in the middle of this fair state. It's so good to be home.